Hello dear students I am Priya and today we will discuss maths chapter 2 addition In this video we will learn addition without regrouping addition with regrouping addition of three numbers properties of addition So let us start with addition without regrouping In the given example as you can see two numbers 324 and 452 are added we will start adding from right hand side at one's place adding 4 to 2 we get 6 at tens place adding 2 to 5 will give us 7 at hundreds place adding 3 to 4 will give us 7 so our resulting sum will be 776 here you can see how we represent addition of two numbers 324 to 452 in number sentence now let us see addition of four digit number it is same as we add three digit numbers the only difference is that here we have numbers at thousands place also so in this example we have added 1063 6705 and 120 by adding ones to ones tens to tens hundreds to hundreds and thousands to thousands we will get some 7888 this is how we write in number names let us do one more example to understand we have to add these three numbers we will first add all numbers at one's place like 2 1 6 will give us 9 adding tens place digits 0 6 1 will give us 7 adding hundreds place digits 3 2 3 will give us 8 adding thousands place we have only 8 here so we write it as it is so the sum of addition will be 8879 we can write this in words like this 8879 our next topic is addition with regrouping here in the given example we will add 437 and 296 when we add 7 and 6 at one's place it will give us 13 so we will write 3 at one's place and 1 is sent as carry over at tens place now we will add digits 1 3 9 at tens place which will again give us 13 so we will write 3 at tens place and 1 is sent as carry over at hundreds place finally adding all digits at hundreds place 1 4 2 will give 7 so our result will be 733 and this is how we write in number sentence taking another example of four digits to clearly understand here we will add 4272 with 1859 adding 2 to 9 give us 11 ones 11 ones will be equal to 110 plus 1 once so we will carry 110 to tens column 
Now adding 1, 7, 5 at tens column will give us 13 tens. 13 tens will be equal to 103 tens. So 100 will be sent as carry over. Now adding 1, 2, 8 at hundreds column we will get 1100. 1100 is equal to 1000 plus 100. 1000 will be sent as carry over. In the end we will add all digit 1, 4, 1 at thousands place which will give 6. So our final result will be 6131. When we write sum in word, it will be written as 6131. Our next topic is addition of three digits numbers. In the mentioned example, we can see numbers 182, 273 and 48 are added. Here numbers are adding by putting numbers in column. The result of addition is 503. To clearly understand how three digit addition is done, we will solve one question. Here we have to find the sum by adding 228, 362 and 109. So, we will start by adding 1's place digit, 8, 2, 9, which is equal to 19. We will write 9 here and 1 will be carry. Then we will add 1, 2, 6. This will give 9. Then we will add 2, 3, 1 which will give 6. So our result will be 699. Our next topic is properties of addition. We will discuss three important properties of addition. Our first property is order property. This property states that the sum of two numbers is the same when we change the order of the numbers. Suppose if we have two numbers, 14 and 39. So either we add 14 to 39 or we add 39 to 14. Result will be same. Let us solve. Adding 14 to 39 will give 53. And adding 39 to 14 result is 53. So sum in both case is same. Similarly adding 48 to 32 and 32 to 48 the result is 80 in both case. So the sum of two numbers is the same when we change the order of numbers. Our second property is grouping property. When we add three numbers, like in this example, 26, 95 and 37, we can add 26 to 95 first and then we can add 37 in result. Or we can add 95 to 37 first and then we can add 26 to the result. Result will be same in both the case. So the sum of three numbers is the same when we change the groupings of the numbers. Now our last property is addition property of zero. This states that when zero is added to a number or a number is added to zero, the sum is the number itself. For example, as you can see, adding 0 in 485 will give 
the same number 485. Similarly, by adding 0 in 439, we get 439. And adding 89 in 0, we get 89. Students, please go through the properties of addition and understand the concept. Rest of the topics we will discuss in our next video. Till then, stay safe. And yes, please subscribe. Thank you.